Movie theater scare right in our backyard. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Lee Jordan. The suspect is charged with weapons violations. Police say he went to the Crocker Park Movie Theater in Westlake heavily armed. And that's where we find Paul Kiska to start our team coverage. Paul, a lot of questions tonight, and certainly one of the biggest is why. Why and was this man dangerous? Westlake police say yes, indeed he was. They believe he was. They say the risk here for danger Saturday night at Regal Cinemas in Crocker Park was high, very high. But fortunately, an off duty observant Westlake police officer working security here at the movie uh, theater asked to search that man's military style bag. And wow, what he found was frightening. Inside the military style pouch, like this one, a loaded gun, three loaded magazines with up to a total of 51 rounds of ammunition, three hunting knives, and one hunting knife on him. Combine that with where police say Scott Smith sat in the movie theater. What concerns us is where he was sitting in the theater. He was the first guy in there, the only guy in there, set in the last row, right in the middle, a, a tactical advantage position, basically. Um, nobody was in the theater, thank God. But later on, they had 70 or 80 people in that same theater, so the risk is very high. Police say Smith made no verbal threat, but his actions appeared threatening. His back was to the wall. Basically, if he chose to do something there, all his potential victims were in front of him, and he would have an advantage over them. Word of what happened just before Saturday night's 10 o'clock showing of Batman The Dark Knight Rises shook moviegoers today in Westlake in the wake of the deadly Colorado shooting spree. Yeah, I would think copycats of what happened in Aurora. It's very suspicious that he went to that viewing that late at night to that particular movie. So, yeah, that's very, uh, very suspicious. Police say Smith gave them no indication of his plans that night, but believe five-year police officer Jeremiah Bolins prevented a potential tragedy. Sure, absolutely he did, yeah. Yeah, you never know what people are capable of, and it's a very risky situation. So, yeah, the officer, like I said, he should be commended for what he did. That was an outstanding job. Now, Westlake police said late this afternoon that Smith hinted that he had those uh, guns and all those weapons for self-defense. Simply put, Westlake police said they do not believe him. Meanwhile, police searched Smith's Northbridgeville home last night. They said they found more guns, a lot more guns, a lot of ammo. More on that in just a minute. Police said Smith had medicinal supplies with him, including pain meds. Regal Cinemas has issued a lengthy statement about this. For that, you can read that at newsat5.com. Live in Westlake tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. Well, certainly some alert people really prevented uh, potentially a horrible tragedy there. Paul, what about the manager who was first suspicious? Can you tell us about him? Yeah, Westlake police say the manager also saw that military, military style bag. He stopped the man. He asked that man if he could look in the bag. Now, police say the man, uh, Smith here, unzipped a pouch on that bag and showed the man an empty part. Showed the manager an empty part of that bag and then proceeded into the movie theater. But that's when the officer went in, Jeremiah Bollins, and said, I want to take a look at that bag now. All right. Paul, thanks very much. Danita? So, who is Scott Smith? We spent the day digging and we've learned a lot about him. Smith lives in North Ridgeville. He has a wife and is the father of a one year old daughter. This is the home police searched and they found eight additional guns, a lot of ammo, a gas mask, and bulletproof vest, as Paul just reported. So we went into that neighborhood today to see what we could find out about Scott Smith, and we found out neighbors saw him wearing what they thought was a gun. Team coverage continues now with Kristen Volk in Westlake. And Kristen, you talked to a neighbor who says they thought Smith was a police officer. That's exactly right. I spoke to this neighbor earlier today. He declined to go on camera. He said he was a member of the Fraternal Order of Police. And he said what struck him was that Smith had a lot of law enforcement related decals on his truck and that he often carried what he thought was a concealed weapon on his hip. I'm just totally surprised. Patty Habenick says Emerald Street in North Ridgeville is the last place you'd find trouble. We are all like pretty quiet people. We get along well. That goes for Scott Smith, too, the man accused of bringing a bag full of weapons into the Regal Cinemas at Crocker Park Saturday night. He was per seemed pretty friendly, talkative, you know, nothing out of the ordinary at all. His house, ordinary, too. Small American flags dot the front lawn. A motorcycle sits outside. We talk motorcycles a little bit. Their mutual love for bikes is how this longtime neighborhood resident says she first got to know Smith. Drives a truck, drives a motorcycle, owns some guns, but 
pretty normal American. Smith's guns never scared neighbor Linda Lalonde. Nice guy, good neighbor. She and her family even stopped by Smith's house last year to visit with his wife and meet their new baby girl. They seem like the normal father-child relationship. But the family was rarely outside, according to residents on this block. They seem to stay by themselves a lot. Except for the occasional walk with their dogs or their baby down this quiet, tree-filled street. A street now filled with residents who are in disbelief. I still think there's got to be more to this than it seems because I don't... I can't imagine them being involved in anything that wouldn't be right. I knocked on Smith's home earlier today. No one answered. No one seemed to be home. The house looked to be completely closed up. Danita? So, Kristen, nothing about this guy in the neighborhood that would alert neighbors that there could be a problem. No, nothing at all. The neighbors all say that they are in absolute shock over this. But West Lake police say they confiscated a number of alarming items from the from Smith's home. That includes 19 guns, thousands of rounds of ammunition, a gas mask, and survivalist and ballistic material. So this is a quickly developing story. Lee and Danita will certainly bring it to you as we have it. Live from live from Crocker Park. I'm Kristen Wolf, News Channel 5. All right, thank you, Kristen. Well, our news team is not done digging into the background of Scott Smith. Right now, investigator Sarah Buttison is working sources and going through public records requests. Sarah's been looking to Smith's background since the news broke of his arrest. She's just finishing her report and we'll have it ready for you tonight, all new at 6 o'clock. Meanwhile, our NewsNet 5 team is adding to our coverage online. As soon as any new information comes in on this story, go to newsnet5.com. And of course, this has been a huge story on our website with thousands of people reading it and hundreds more sharing it with their Facebook friends. And it's also been generating a lot of comments. And if you want to share yours, go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash WEWS5. And stay tuned to Newsnet 5 for the latest information. For Newsnet 5, I'm Jen Steer. Okay, Jen, and you can also download our apps for your smartphone or your iPad so you can get the latest information as you're on the go.